Okay, I um, I get asked quite a lot about what do I use for target practice, um, what material, what targets, and I have um, a selection of paper targets um, on on stands that you staple the paper targets to. Um, shoot and seize are really handy, um, but for Sometimes I just like to shoot some something a little bit where, um, especially if you're shooting distance, where you can hear the hear the round hit. Um, I tend to use um, I've used AR five hundred a lot. Um, this one I've had for a long time, and uh, I've shot this with just about everything I own. Um, and the only rounds that have ever marked it, strangely enough, are 44 Magnum. I've shot this with 308, I've shot this with 50s, uh, uh, 50 AE. And the only round that's ever put a dent in it is a 44 Magnum from um, good old Smith & Wesson 29-2 Dirty Harry. Um, so, how do you hold them? Well, there's lots of different things. You can hang on chains and um, all that sort of stuff, but there's always someone that shoots the chain and that's um, game over for the day. So then I found um, the plant hangers, you know, the um, Jacobs Crooks plant hangers. They're very good. They are very good. And I, I have a, a load of those. If you get the half inch ones, uh, they hold the heavier targets. Pretty well I have um, a platform it's, it's just made out of two by fours and with holes drilled in and I can put three or four of those in in a line and I can hang all the targets on there um, and that that works really well but um, the, people shoot the Jacobs hooks and cut them off um, so um, and sometimes they're not so easy to find a, a reasonably priced one. So what I started doing um, is just making them out of uh, rebar. Um, so it's just a piece of rebar um, bent and then welded. Um, this works really well because uh, rebar is reasonably inexpensive, um, and if you've got your if you've got um, access to a welder. Um, very easy to make so um, let's make one okay first of all I'm going to put the, um, the hook in the top so just grab in the vise mole steel rebar is really excellent material because it you can bend it and of course um, I didn't bend square, that doesn't matter because you can just straighten it up. Um, it's also put a bit of a curve here that I don't want, but again, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to straighten that up. So we have a hook in a piece of metal. Next thing. Um, and grip it like that, and we're going to get hold of the end. And the hold, the cloak, the, the nearer you hold it, the sharper the bend you're going to get. Um, I did adjust the camera. Um, so the further away you hold it, the more gentle of the bend you're going to get. So I'm going to just bring it in, and as, as it starts to bend close, I move my hands further away, and that that starts to bend a bit further away okay again that didn't um, bend square but it doesn't matter because I can just adjust it okay so now we have more like a, a Jacobs hook and um, this. So all we're going to do here, I'm just going to grind this and put a put a point on it, make it just easier to get in the ground. So the next step is get a shorter piece 
and I'm just going to put a, a straightforward right angle bend in this. So get on there. Now, if you don't want to do all this tugging, what you can do is just get an extension tube and just put it on there and just, just makes it much more so much easier a bit of physics okay not quite right angle okay. so now you see um, where we're getting so now I'm just going to put that on there and that will create the target So you want the leg to be in front of the hoop so that the weight of the target is pulling down onto the spare leg. Uh, beauty of a, the beauty of a metal welding table is you don't have to worry about earthing your piece of work. So I'm just going to... Set it there. So, well did on. Now, when you hammer this into the ground, you're going to be hammering on here and on here, this point, to drive this and this into the ground. So this weld, you probably need to build it up a little bit more than uh, just, just welding it and joining it together, just so you've got a good, um, a good joint there. So when you start pounding on here in tough, tough soil, you're not going to just snap the world off but there it is um, really simple uh, target hanger okay so we've made a short hanger um, it just hangs on there like that now the beauty of this is when the round hits it, it swings, so if any ricochets you get um, are going to go downwards in front of the target. It's very, un very unlikely you're going to get anything coming back towards you. If this was rigid, I'd be very uncomfortable with it. The other thing you've got to make sure is that these, these They've got five eighth holes and I'm using half inch rebar so um, I can get a nice nice lot of swing here without um, it binding up. But you say I don't have a welder. Well that's fine. You go down to um, your local um, garden centre and you buy yourself the, the normal um, Jacobs hook planter hanger and um, they normally come at about five foot tall now five foot's a good uh, pistol target uh, height but you do have to consider what your backdrop is um, so if your backdrop is a little bit suspect and you want to be shooting downwards then all you do is you get your hanger and you chop it off and then you just re-bend this bit and this bit's already made um, again, try and get the, uh, the half inch uh, thick uh, hangers rather than that. They do a 3 8 one, which is not very good and it, 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 it swings around a lot. So um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, this is how I've done it for quite a few years now and I've worked, uh, it's worked out really, really well for me. Um, I can put loads of these out and you can. Um, traverse targets very very easily right down to these little chaps um, normally shoot this at about 40 50 yards 40 yards uh, this is um, 12 inch I think 
um, and then we shoot the we shoot the eight inch with uh, rifles at 300 yards um, with this boy with this boy at night so um great thanks a lot speak to you soon bye